What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about one of the tool or one of the functions of the scale tool that a lot of people don't know about in SketchUp. Before we get started, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, um, maybe you want to support the show, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so generally speaking, I think that a lot of people think that the scale tool in SketchUp only works to scale objects based on a ratio or a percentage. And by that I mean that a lot of people think that you can only use the scale tool to basically grow or shrink something based on like 50% or 30% or 120%. So like for example if I take this object which uh, it's, four, it's a four foot by four foot square, and I activate the scale tool by tapping the S key. I think a lot of people think if you click on this, you can only type in a value of like 0.5 or two or something like that. So if I type in 0.5, it would be half the size. If I was to type in two after I single click on this, it would be double the size. Um, so what that means is you'd think that the only way that you could take this object, and let's say I wanted to make this like um, one foot by one foot, so the only way I'd be able to do that is to take this and scale it to something like 0.25. So I'd have to do math to figure out what those revised lengths would have to be. Well, in reality, the scale tool actually has the ability to scale by distance as well. And so the way it works is fairly simple. You select your object and activate the scale tool just like we did before. But in this case, when you single click on one of these grips, instead of typing in a percentage or a decimal like 0.5, let's say we wanted this to now be two feet wide, you can just type in a length. So if I type in two feet, hit the enter key, then all of a sudden this is two feet wide. So you can see how this has a lot of possibilities for allowing you to rescale different things within your model. And uh, basically what it does is it takes the distance between um, whatever scaling grip you have selected and the opposite point, and it makes that distance whatever you type in. So if I, so if I was to type in one foot in this case, then this would now be one foot high. And so that works diagonally as well, though that gets a little bit trickier. So if I was to do this, and let's say that I was to type in a value of one foot, this would scale the distance between this corner grip and this corner grip to one foot. And so this also works in three-dimensional shapes. So for example, let's say I have a box like this one, and right now this box is eight foot by six foot by four foot. And so if I was to take this box, and I was to scale this, I could actually click on this grip and then type in a value of two feet. And that would scale this across, so now it's a value of two feet. You could also do this with individual faces. So let's say, for example, you wanted uh, the bottom of this to be eight feet long, but you wanted the top to be two feet long. You can use the scale tool in order to scale these individual faces, and because of the sticky geometry, everything's going to kind of adjust with you. And so practically, um, this could be good for scaling individual faces and setting those distances. One of the problems though, and uh, it seems like you can't do this, but you actually can. Right now, it seems like you can't scale uniformly. And the reason for that is, let's say I took my default model, which uh, I think I have set at like 5.11 or something like that. Um, yeah, around 5.11. Well, it seems like if you were to take this and let's say you wanted to make make this four feet tall. Well, that's not going to work because things aren't getting scaled uniformly and so you get this weird distortion. But it seems like if you were to click on this and then click and hold, you can't type in a value because when I click and hold this, I can't type in like four feet because my shift key is held down and so it brings in a dollar sign instead of a number. So it would seem like you couldn't actually scale uniformly, but you can. And uh, the way that that works is generally it works about the same way that the move tools array function works. Meaning that if I was to scale this, and let's say I just scaled this down and I held the shift key to lock this into uniform scaling mode, you can see how this lets me move this up and down and keep it uniform, but I can't type in that value. Well, what you can do is you can actually single click to set that value or to set your initial scaling, and then you can type in a height. So let's say I wanted this to now be four feet. I could just type in four feet, or I could type in five feet and hit the enter key, six feet, 
seven feet, and you can see how this is allowing me to scale things uniformly. So two feet, it doesn't really matter. This stays active as long as you don't click somewhere else. And so basically the way that that works is it works the same way on your corner. So if I was to hold the shift key and, uh, well, that's gonna be a uniform scaling anyway, but it would also work the same way on your width. So if I was to hold the shift key and move this this way, and then I was to set my width to something like three feet, you can see how I can type that value in as well. And so that could be super useful for something like this table. Like let's say for example that we wanted to make this table, right now it's approximately three foot six, four feet tall. Um, I think it's four feet two actually. I could scale this down by holding the shift key and then type in a value of three foot six inches. And what that would do is that would set, that would set the distance between this scaling grip and this grip to three foot six inches. And then now my table has a height of three foot six inches. So being able to scale uniformly is gonna be really important. So this is just another great tip to have in your toolbox in case you need to do something quickly like scaling that table down so that it's three foot six inches high. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Did you know the scale tool could do this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.